So what am I going to moan about today? I'll tell you what I'm going to moan about and that is the away goals rule in European competition. Um, I know over recent years it's actually been good because it's the kind of rule that makes teams chase goals because it could be so important to getting through. But over the last few years, there's been a big change in the approach from teams. Um, home sides are starting to play very cautiously because they don't want to concede that away goal. And the away sides, when they score one, they decide to shut up shot. Barcelona, prime example, last night. They don't want to go for any more. They don't want to attack. And it ends up being quite a boring game. Now, like I said, over recent years, there's been some absolutely mental games. So exciting. Home teams trying to get an advantage because the away side's got a goal and they know they need to take a lead to the second leg. Away side's thinking, right, we need to go and score some goals now because we're losing by two. And But now it just doesn't seem to be that way anymore. Everything's cautious. Everything's like so boring and negative. So I'd like to see them maybe just for a season, scrap the away goals rule and let's see what happens and whether it will actually benefit the performances. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to moan about today. So let's take a look back at last night's Champions League games. There was a couple of them in there. Uh, first one was Ajax against uh, Juventus and it finished 1-1. Do I even need to say who scored for Juve? No, Cristiano Ronaldo scores another goal for them. Um, but Ajax, they equalised and um, it's going to be an interesting second leg. Now, I know that Juve will be favourites um, with the fact that they're at home and they do have that away goal, but... Remember what Ajax did to Real Madrid in the last round. This tie is far from over. And um, I'll be looking forward to that one. The other game, of course, was Manchester United against Barcelona. And I think everyone before the tie kind of knew that Barcelona were going to win this game. But it was not a great performance from them. They did win the game 1-0. Um, was it a Luis Suarez goal or a Luke Shaw own goal? It's down to interpretation, really. Um, but once Barcelona got that goal, they just shut up shop they were like well we've got the away goal this will do get back to the camp new one nil fine and for around about 75 minutes or so they just played really poor and it's very unlike Barcelona they're passing they're moving Lionel Messi was quiet the only thing he's come away with from Manchester is a bloody nose and a cut eye after a tackle from um, Chris Smalling but yeah, it just was not a great performance. Now, Manchester United, of course, will look at, you know, the likes of the game, of, you know, with PSG, where they managed to turn it round. They lost 2-0 at home in that one. But I think that Barcelona are just a different kind of side, especially at the Camp Nou. And um, surely they're not going to play that bad again. And they're going to let the reins off a little bit, um, being the fact it's the second leg. But... It's interesting and it's finally balanced and you can't write Manchester United out of it. So um, a <clears throat> couple of second legs that I'm really looking forward to. So some good games last night.